Aquarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the tarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. As you can see, I've already shuffled the cards, laid them out and we can begin. Now, there's something very interesting happening in your love life during this period of time, okay? From your energy, what I'm sensing here is that many of you have a very deep spiritual connection to yourself right now. It feels as if you're connected and you're very powerfully connected. There's something about your energy that's making you alluring, it's making you charming, it's making you seductive. There's this element of mystery surrounding you. I'm definitely sensing here that there's something going on in your energy in itself. We will be exploring this in a moment. Now, the next card is depicting the energy of the individual you're dealing with. This energy is all about stress, being overwhelmed, not being able to handle a situation, feeling as if there's a weight on their shoulder. So this person that you're dealing with doesn't know how to deal with what is going on between the two of you. I'm seeing as well that right now there's this energy of being apprehensive. It's like one individual is a little bit cynical when it comes to love, skeptical. So there's this element of cynicism, skepticism, and not being able to really allow oneself to be vulnerable in a situation. This could be the problem you're having with this individual you're dealing with, because you may feel as if, you know, you have them figured out, but there's something that is making this individual feel overwhelmed. There's something that is causing them to take this whole situation with a pinch of salt. It feels as if they're not giving into it. They're keeping themselves back from truly experiencing what this love that you're offering them can bring them. So let's begin the clarification process. For those of you that are interested in learning how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. First card, it feels like when the two of you met and came together, there's this element of magic that is playing a role. I'm picking up this energy of just feeling a very distinctive connection to one another. And this individual had an element of curiosity that they wanted to explore this connection and see where it may lead the two of you. I'm sensing here that the universe was playing a role in bringing the two of you together. There's this element of fate, destiny. There's this element of this person wanting to put a crown on your head. It feels as if they were completely in awe of you. This is all about this individual being exceptionally fond, looking at you in a way in which they're mesmerized. And it feels as if you were intrigued as well. You had something to offer them. They had something to offer you. There was a recognition of each other's soul. So I'm sensing here that in the beginning stages of falling in love, things were very magical in the situation as it usually is. Okay, now what is standing in the way? It feels as if someone either left the situation or started to move away from this connection. So I feel like the universe worked extra hard to bring the two of you together. And then there's this parting of ways. And it was a difficult decision to decide to move away from this relationship. But it feels like, you know, there were so many opportunities lining up for the two of you to come together. It's like together the two of you had all the answers. Yeah. I feel like there's a lack of happiness right now. Clearly, you're missing the attention that this individual used to show you. 
there's a very heavy movement here towards a very distinctive energy that you're going through. It feels as if it's enlightenment. It's revolving around you opening up your eyes and seeing things from a different perspective. Clearly, there was a lot of love in the situation. Yeah. But one individual was very skeptical of it. Very stressed out. It feels as if one person was looking for flaws, looking for a reason to criticize this connection, to not be fully accepting of it. Yet the universe brought the two of you together for a reason. It feels as if both you and this individual are the perfect mix of what is needed in a healthy, beautiful relationship. But one person was turning away from this, perhaps because they were not looking at the energy they were feeling in their heart. They were overly focused on the energy inside of their head, you know. Their mind was overworking, they were overthinking, not really trying to uh, put themselves in a position where they're considering all the elements and factors that had to happen for the two of you to come together. So let's look at the next energy. The next energy is talking about being stressed out. You know, the interesting thing about this connection is that it feels as if this love was so powerful, so overwhelming, this attraction, the chemistry, the desire, the lust, the temptation, the feelings of just wanting to be wrapped up in all of these emotions. It feels as if one individual was under a great deal of turmoil and stress because of this connection at hand, right? So it feels as if one individual was hesitating to move forward. Maybe they felt overwhelmed by the type of feelings and emotions they were experiencing. Maybe they felt as if they couldn't handle it. They couldn't deal with the situation, you know. Things definitely slowed down. One individual went into their ego. Yeah, this prevented change. It feels like someone got so stressed out they decided to run for the hills. And you know, people do this. You get an overwhelming sense of an attraction towards an individual. You want to run from it. You want to avoid it. Because maybe you had a bad experience in the past. Maybe you had that sort of pain where you gave your heart to somebody and then they squashed it, you know. So this individual could be coming from that perspective. And it's interesting how previous relationships or past experiences influence how you act in present day situations. It's kind of unfair, but that's how people are, you know. Yeah. I'm seeing that this love was an opportunity to have this amazing experience. There's this element here of where the two of you were just meant to be, just meant to be. But one individual got so scared, they decided to run off. They decided they couldn't deal with this. And that's sad. It really is because it feels as if the universe was working very hard to bring the two of you together. But one individual is fighting this. They're pushing against it. They're not wanting to accept this love. This person you're dealing with could have a lack of confidence. as if your energy has went through this process of enlightenment when it comes to this conflict and the difficulty that you had to experience as a result of the situation. 
I feel like some of you feel as if, you know, you've been blocked from expressing yourself and you want to go back to the way that things were when the two of you were coming together, discovering each other, falling in love, and you haven't been able to move away from this person. In fact, it feels as if all you do most of the time is think about them. And as you do that, it feels as if there's a need for you to move towards your spirituality. I feel like a lot of you want to come back together with this person. And, you know, when things ended, it feels as if everything sort of collapsed. Everything collapsed when this individual left. You may have felt a very distinctive energy as if you were losing your other half or that uh, the person you wanted to be with is, uh, you know, leaving your life and this filled you with a great deal of sadness. Now, the next energy that I'm looking at is showing to me this, you know, situation that is playing out and you're hoping to come together in a happily ever after, but this individual is being very impulsive right now. It feels as if their energy is a little bit reckless. They don't know how to respond to this attraction. They don't know how to respond to this love. It feels as if they're pushing it away. And I'm seeing here that in respect of this relationship, there's a sense of where, you know, you're hoping for things to get resolved. One of the things I'm noticing as well is that this individual is stuck inside of their head a lot, very trapped. It's like they have a certain belief system and you want them to break free out of this. You want them to follow your, you know, their heart and you want to follow your heart in respect of this connection. But it feels like right now this individual is running away from it. Many of you could be thinking about this individual a lot and it feels like you're trying to connect to your spirituality. You're trying to look for a sign from the universe. You're trying to see, you know, what really is going on in terms of this relationship. So let's pull a few more cards. For those of you that are unaware, there is an extended reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Yeah, this person that you're dealing with, they don't know what to do in respect of the situation. They are stuck inside of their head. It feels as if there's this element of ego. There's a fear of a new beginning. There's a fear of happiness here that is really, you know, troubling them to a great extent. Something has really hurt this individual terribly. I feel like some of you are so disappointed by this person because you had a very strong connection to them and you felt as if, you know, this was going to be the relationship that made you feel a great sense of happiness and joy. Mm. Something has troubled this individual to a great extent and they're not able to let go of that. Something has happened in, in terms of their energy. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. I'm going to be evaluating what is going on with this person. What are their feelings, their thoughts, their emotions? What are they truly experiencing? What are they unable to let go of, you know? I'm going to be looking at what is the right way for you to move forward towards this person. It feels as if this is a very powerful connection between the two of you, but this person is trying to push it away. I'm also picking up that they are feeling stuck inside of their head. I'll be identifying the factors and elements that have kept them feeling trapped and what is the right sort of uh, way to, you know, unlock that. You can find the link in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. Have a wonderful day and take care.